A dream feed is a feed that you offer your baby while they are asleep. Why? Stay tuned and I'll explain how this can be effective and why it can aid you with sleep training. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss any more of my videos. So, when your baby wakes and cries, it seems natural to respond with milk, especially in the early weeks. Of course, you must feed a hungry baby, but beyond four or five months, this expectation for milk at every minor waking can lead to an unnecessary reliance on milk to induce sleep. Dream feeding is a great option if you are down to just that one feed per night and you're not sure whether or not your baby still needs that top up. The way it works is that you're, you, you feed your baby that last feed before bedtime, assist them off to sleep, afterwards and then you visit your baby with a dream feed probably around 10 or 11 p.m this time is ideal because it's likely around four hours since the last feed and it's a good time before many parents will want to settle for a longer stretch of sleep too you give them milk and your baby may wake up feed asleep wake then doze back off while feeding it really doesn't matter the point is your baby has the milk but did not wake up, cry out, and have the milk come as a response to the cry out. So why is this helpful when sleep training? When you're sleep training, you need to be consistent with how you respond. So if you are down to the one feed, and you can do this as a dream feed, this allows for the absolute consistency that every response to any actual wakings can be the same every time. You've taken care of the potential hunger with the dream feed and your baby can trust and rely upon a reassuring response from you any time he or she wakes. Do you have any questions about dream feeding? If so, please pop them in the comments below and we will do our best to answer them. Also, please share this video with a friend who might find it helpful to understand dream feeding. People often ask if you can do more than one dream feed in a night, and you could, but that would mean setting an alarm to wake yourself to go and deliver that feed. It's not ideal, and dream feeding works best when you are down to just the one feed at night. Another common question is, how do I stop dream feeding? The answer to that one is you just stop. <laughs> My suggestion though is that when you've experienced a run of consecutive nights where your little one has slept well and resettled in the night without any milk beyond the dream feed, when you then try a night without any dream feed, you will either find it all goes smoothly and any wakings are easily resettled without milk, or you'll find a very different type of waking occurs perhaps around 3 a.m. and your little one persists hard when he or she would usually have resettled. So this might be a sign of true hunger and it will tell you that the dream feed was serving a purpose and it is better to keep going with that for a little bit longer. So there we have it. That is what a dream feed is, how you can use it and why it can be supportive while sleep training a baby who is down to a questionable one feed at night. If you found this video helpful, you'll find more helpful tips in our free sleep guide. Check for the download link or drop us a message for your copy today. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using hashtag the sleep nanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.